hey guys i'm back with another video so here i have this simple dotnet maui app which has this main home page with these three tabs so home page page two page three and on home page i have this button go to nested page and if i tap on it there is this nested page which is a stacked page navigation page on the inside the main home page so it has this back button okay i simply created this app added this page 2 page 3 and nested page on app shell i have simply added main page page 2 page 3 inside tab bar and then in the main page i have simply added this button to go to nested page and then from here i am simply saying that await shell dot current dot go to async go to this nested page directly and then i have registered this nested page in routing in the app shell dot xaml dot cs using this routing dot register route this is what what i have done so far okay now here in this video i'm going to show you how can we customize this title this this nav bar okay this is called a nav bar so if you go to app shell here all these titles which we define here or on the page level the page level titles we can simply change this so let's say title if i say main page here this is going to be displayed here from app shell we can have these things as well the default title values now what all sorts of customizations we can have let's quickly see first thing if we want to change the background color of this we can quickly do this using shell dot background color and we can have any color here so red now this is red if we go to all other pages we are going to see this is actually red color okay what else we can have if we change this flyout behavior to flyout then we are going to see these three hamburger menu okay this navigation drawer here so this fly out apart from this on the nested pages we have this back button which is there and on this right side we can have our toolbar items we can have global toolbar items or we can have local toolbar items local means page level global means application level so those are going to be applicable everywhere so if we add those in some specific page let's say on main page i'm adding it so here we can say content page dot toolbar items and here we can simply say toolbar items and we can have some text let's say some options if we do this we are going to see these options here on page two page three it is not going to be there on nested page it is not going to be there because we added it on main page if we add this on the app shell here content page is not there so here we will say shell dot toolbar items if we save it shell dot toolbar items we can see two options here but if you go to page one this is from app shell same thing if you go to the nested page we can see these options here so this is all customization we can have with these basic settings now what if we want to go further i want to have maybe one image here right now it just shows says main page what if i want to have image uh, maybe in whatsapp app if you have seen we have the user image here user avatar or maybe what if we want to have a heading or page title then some subtext or some description here in that in this title this nav bar only so for all these things uh, what we can do we can actually customize this thing what we can see here using a special control or component let's go to main page here that is called shell dot title view now inside this title view we can have our markup we can have anything we can have image we can have grid we can have vertical 
stack layout horizontal stack layout we can have border we can have all sorts of things okay so shell dot title view is the way by which we can customize this title title bar okay so let's quickly see i'm going to have a grid here with uh, let's say column definitions of auto and star so first auto i'm going to have a border let's have a height of 50 width of 50 and let's say stroke shape as round rectangle round rectangle of corner radius 25 if i do this save it and then if i say maybe some background color of gray we can see this right and inside this if i now want to add some image i can simply say this image source and here the default image let's have that so we'll say dot net underscore bot bot dot png we can have it so now we can see this image okay now this is the first column in this grid so grid dot column zero now let's have the main title so we can have a label with the grid dot column one and then we can have a text here this is main page right so let's say main page save it now we can see this main page let's make it bigger and move it to vertically center okay so we'll say vertical options at center and then i'm going to say font size 25 let's see how it looks 25 is a lot let's say 20 20 is fine then we can also have let's say font attribute bold yes and on this grid we can have a column spacing of 10 maybe so this is looking like this so this is somewhat similar to the previous one but now we have this added image gray is not looking that good maybe some uh, d e d e d e yeah this is fine or maybe we can simply reduce its height and width let's say 40 40 and corner radius of 20 and column spacing of 5 okay so we can see this save it and now it is good if you go to other pages it is still same but on main page now we can see this customized title view okay here you can have other things as well the thing i mentioned let's say maybe on page two or maybe we have this nested page right go to nested page on this nested page let's have the main heading and then uh the, the subtext kind of thing so let's go to nested page here we can say shell dot title view here we can have a vertical stack layout we can have a spacing of five maybe inside this we are going to have a label with the text nested page if we see we can see this then let's have one more label text some description description of this page save it we are good on this main label spacing 5 is a lot on this first text or maybe instead of vertical stack layout let's have a grid with the row definitions we can have star and auto the so first one is going to have star second one is going to have auto at the very bottom so we'll say grid dot row one on the second one so it is at the very end now on the first one label we can same as font size maybe 18 and font attributes not font size font attribute bold and then let's maybe have hmm, what else we can have here let's have some spacing from top and bottom on this grid so we can have a padding 0 and 5 let's say so 0 from left and right 
five from top and bottom right now this is not looking that good let's have padding on the main page and then we can have a background color on the title so shell dot background color static resource let's say primary so things like that okay and when you do this you can also set the title color and other things shell dot title not shell dot title shell dot foreground color as white this thing now title color is white for the default text but here we are not using the default title we are using our own custom things so on these labels we can have a text color as white and on the second one as well we can say text color as white now we can see that this is different and this bottom section this main page content is different so this is how we can customize or provide our own ui our own markup to customize the default title view okay now there are some considerations which we should consider so that i'm going to show you for example what content we can have first thing is we can't have unlimited height whatever we want to add inside this for example let's say on this grid i'm setting a height of uh, 100 so you see height is 100 but it didn't go past this thing it should have come down to this page section where it is not coming here so whatever we can have inside title view the limitations are the height should fix inside or fit inside this uh, provided nav bar height only whatever this is the default height we can't change that so we can't have unlimited height we can't have height request 100 second thing is if i show you on this grid if i set background color let's say red now see our title view it has access to this space only so using our customized title view we cannot capture this space which has the back button and some slight margin here i'll show you it on the main this thing this main page so that you can have a better look so if i go on main page let's have a background color on this grid so if i say background color let's say green now see this time we have more or less uh, space actually this time this left fly out menu icon then this some margin and then right toolbar items these spaces are already occupied and then we can have this title view between these things now if i go to app shell.xaml and here if i say fly out behavior disabled now you see this time that thing got removed and here also let's say shell dot background color if i say red so the background color is red that is on the main shell level but what we can get we can simply have this section so that means using title view we can't have unlimited height that should fix fit inside this height only then second thing from the left it is going to have this spacing we can't directly modify this we might be able to modify it using some platform specific code that i did not try but you can try if you want to then second thing is if we have some toolbar items that also we can't have inside our title view so if i remove the toolbar item if i go to main page.xml if i comment this toolbar item then we'll see on right side we can have the entire space if there are toolbar items we can't have those toolbar item space but if we don't have any toolbar item then we can have all the space available 
Now what we should do in this case if you want to actually customize this we can have our own uh, toolbar items kind of UI. So here what I have this grid auto star let's have one auto as well and then at the very end we can simply have a label with the text options and we can have text color whatever we want to we can make it theme specific as well or color specific vertical options we can have center if we do this and we'll add grid dot column 2 then we can see these options here and then on this grid we can simply have a padding 0 from left 0 from top 15 from right and 0 from bottom things like that then if we remove this green we can see this similar kind of thing so now this is this will act as a toolbar item for you you can simply have it as this label dot gesture recognizers label dot gesture recognizers tab gesture recognizer you can have your own logic uh, that you would have added in the toolbar item so this is how you can do this all right so now we are right now adding these things on page specific level page levels if we want to have it on global level we can have the title view on app shell label as well okay so on app shell let's say if i have something i'll say shell dot title view here we can have anything actually so let's for now let's have a label with the text uh, app shell title view vertical options at center let's maybe have horizontal options at center as well and then we can have a font size of 20 font attributes as italic or whatever so right now if you go to home page we can see our home page title view if you go to page 2 now we can see this title view which we have defined on our app shell level so on app shell this is going to be global applied to all the pages and it can be overwritten by the page level title view so on page 2 we didn't add any title view that's why it is getting this from app shell page 3 getting it from app shell home page it is getting it from the main page or symbol because here we have defined our own title view same thing if you go to a nested page nested page has its own title view so this is not uh, using app shell as well all right so the options are up to you you can do these in different ways whatever suits you so that's all for this video do let me in the comment if you already knew about this title view and if you are following my videos we have done the custom title view in our social media maui app as well right yeah i guess we did this all right so that's all for this video please like this video share this video subscribe my channel I'll be back soon with some other cool video. Till then, bye bye. Happy coding.